Let's look at some asymptotes for some rational expressions. First of all, I'm going to begin with this polynomial, 8x squared minus x plus 2. So let's see what that does. Okay, we knew that that was a parabola. It's an opening up parabola. It looks like it has uh, no x-intercepts at all. Now consider the polynomial x cubed minus x squared uh, plus 1. And let's look at what the graph of that looks like. Now, if we make the ratio of these two, let's divide one by the other. Now, I've adjusted the colors so that there's the, the ratio of the two functions. The orange is... is uh, the denominator and the light blue is the numerator. Now notice that denominator has a zero just a little bit over over here. There's going to be a vertical asymptote right here. Let's zoom out a little bit and see what's happening here. Okay, so that's more of what's occurring. But there's this vertical asymptote right here. Let me draw a vertical line there. So there's the zero for the denominator. This light green line is the line perpendicular to the x-axis through that zero. And you'll notice that the, the, <clears throat> the rational function doesn't ever cross that, but it's clearly a vertical asymptote for this thing. Secondly, because the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree in the numerator, there's a horizontal asymptote. Now let's consider the reciprocal of this rational function. I've turned off the view to everything except our two original functions, but now we're going to look at q divided by p. Now you'll notice that in this, the, the, the dark red line is the q divided by p. And you'll notice as we zoom out like we are that much of it really kind of looks like a straight line except this little burble here in the middle. Let's Zoom in and look at what things look like here. Okay. Now, of course, the top, the numerator, is zero at this particular point that we saw before. And so, of course, this function will be a zero there. And since the numerator is never zero, there are no vertical asymptotes. But again, as we zoom out, this has an oblique asymptote along that straight line. Now we can find what that straight line is by carrying out the division of these two polynomials. So we, here we've set things up to do the long division. Notice that we put this placeholder of 0x in here just because it will be easier to keep track of things. Now 8x squared minus x plus 2, I need to get something that will times 8x squared and give me x cubed exactly. That will be a 1 8 times x. When Saul Khan do, does uh, long division, he likes to line this up. Oops, sorry. When Saul Khan does uh, long division, he always lines the, uh, the power of the variables up uh, above where they go. So, th so putting the 1 8th here, 1 8th x here, and then multiplying here, we get... So that 1 8th x times this polynomial gives us the x cubed. That's why we chose 1 8th x. 1 8th times a mi 1 8th x times uh, minus x gives us a minus 1 8 x squared and 1 8 x times uh, the plus 2 gives us a 1 4 x. Now we need to subtract. 
to keep track of this subtraction, I'm just going to change the sign of every one of these items and then add them. We'll need to get a common denominator here. So this is a minus 8 eighths x squared. Uh, so this will be a negative 7 eighths minus 7 eighths x squared minus 1 fourth x. And then we might for convenience sake bring down that plus 1. Now we're looking for something that will times x squared and give us a minus 7 eighths. The right amount is a negative 7 sixty-fourths. So we'll need to minus 7 sixty-fourths times this polynomial. That will give us the negative 7 eighths x squared plus 7 sixty-fourths x minus 7 thirty seconds now change the sign and add. We need to subtract. So we're changing the sign and adding because we're going to carry out this subtraction. So we need to add these up. This will be 0. Here we'll need to get a common denominator. 1 fourth is 16 60 fourths. So adding that negative 16 60 fourths to the negative 7 60 fourths gives us a 33 uh, uh, a negative 33 60 fourths x and then we need to add the 1 and the 7 30 seconds we need to get a common denominator there as well 1 is the same as 32 30 seconds so this is going to be a plus 39 30 seconds now this quotient up here is going to be the oblique asymptote. And let's see why. This division process that we just did tells us that x cubed minus x squared plus 1 divided by 8x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to the 1 8 x minus 7 64th plus the remainder divided by the quotient. Now, as x gets very large, this denominator here becomes very large compared to this numerator. And consequently, this fraction right here goes to 0. So this fraction goes to zero as x goes to infinity. Now that's what we're seeing in the graph. Move this out of the way. You see, as x gets very, very large, this particular uh, amount gets, gets closer and closer to that 1 8 x minus, 70, minus uh, 7 64 ths.